So we're in here trying to decide what is a bigger basket case, that or that. All right, so we're just about ready to take off. It is 9.40 in Iowa here, 9.40 at night, Friday night, and we are on our way to pick up a new little rig my brother decided he needed. And uh, this one is going to require the truck and trailer. We are on our way, 500 miles to Ohio. We're gonna bonsai there, bonsai back. And uh, this one is gonna require a shovel. So stay tuned. So here we are, seven minutes away from the auction company. I guess we gotta pay for this thing first. Uh, about 10 hours into the trip, everything was boring. And at night, the two sidekicks are back here chilling. Stay, stay. Do you guys gotta go to the bathroom? Go go to the bathroom? All right, let me get the leash. All right, let's go to the bathroom. Oh. All right, it is potty break time. First time in 10 hours for these guys. I'm just kidding, they went out when we stopped. We are at Kaufman Auctions. And Ted is inside there. I'm on dog duty. He is in pain for the rover and the sign. Can't forget about the sign. Um, so these guys just went to the bathroom. I think it's breakfast time. All right, so it wasn't too bad a trip. Uh, we did a little over 500 miles, 10 hours, one time zone change. And then we got what I think is another 45 minutes or an hour to get to the rover once we pay for this thing. Uh, I'm gonna go make these guys breakfast now. So uh, once Ted's done doing the paperwork, we can uh, get on the road again. We're out here in like mini Camperville too. Maybe we should get one of these. That's like dog size, Sasha and Honey. Ted came back with his trusty keys. Hopefully the Land Rover looks better than that. Right there, Land Rover. Hopefully it's less rusty. $10. I think it, it, was, it was more than $10, so someone paid $10. I wish it was us. But uh, he was in there and they were shocked that we came all the way from Iowa for a Land Rover. So, we'll see how this goes. Please proceed. Take the next left onto Ohio 643, State Route 643. Take the next right onto Ohio 643, State Route 643. Hirsch prayers you got. Well, would you look at that? And a Ford Escort. Oh, she's not 
not as far in the ground as we were expecting. I mean, it's exactly what you hoped for and more, I'm sure. Let's see. Oh. Nice, number four. Maybe we should get the keys and try and fire it up. Pretty rotted. She's missing part of the frame. Has it got a drag? Don't document my fucking disappointments. <laughs> this is awesome. She's she's a little soft underneath. <laughs> Don't talk about my disappointments. <laughs> I mean, she'll look good in my ditch. <laughs> oh, in this <laughs> I'm like, oh, you can't, you know, just put a strap right on this guy here. And the all important Dairy Queen sign that is in Upside Down. <laughs> Daniel's gonna be so happy. We drove 600 miles for this. That's That was the main purpose. Well, it's got limit straps to hold the axle in. <laughs> Ted's thinking about just uh, <laughs> letting her be and leaving it. <laughs> oh, fun air conditioning. Is that dual climate control? That's the best feature. Little flappers. <laughs> that way if we load it backwards, you just put those up and it'll buffer all the air back out. I don't know. This looks pretty sweet though. it's my fault. Here we are trying to determine where to even hook it up to, to drag it onto that. Stay tuned. All right, so we got most of a Land Rover right there. And I'm using most, ah, uh, loosely. We're gonna try and stick it on there. Hopefully in one piece yet. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, at least it was worth the trip, right? so good don't you just I mean look at this don't you just feel like you're in the English countryside I mean that's kind of what I feel like I mean it's still in one piece
All right, so it's mostly on there. Now uh, we're gonna try and get her all uh, not as cattywampus. the rest of it here. That's just some some bits and pieces. Oh, oh, oh well. I don't quite think there is gonna be the place to strap it down. But on another note, we have the tool roll for it and some bits and what appears to be a brand new clutch. Toss that in, drive it home, good to go. I don't know what that is. But it is kind of neat. I mean, spare wheel in case you want to mount a new wheel. No tire. Some jump seats to bring all your friends. <laughs> Maybe a good shot. All right, so she's all strapped down. We'll be on our way back to Iowa from Ohio with this jam. Uh, she's a little, little soft in areas. Ah, but that's the way she goes. I mean, sometimes you, uh, sometimes you lose. A lot of times you lose. But, I mean, how can you go wrong? At least it looks neat. It's where it's supposed to be on a trailer. And uh, maybe it can go sit in another field for another 30 years. So right now, Ted is currently strapping itself to itself so we don't lose what is possibly the only thing worthwhile on it, the doors. What do you got going on here, Sash? You guys ready to head back home? <laughs> There he is, he's just so elated with his purchase. The good news is we have a, also have a Land Rover sitting in Florida and a Land Rover sitting in Milwaukee. Um, probably equally as nice, but uh, yeah. So here is our uh, Shipbox Rover collection start. See, I told you we were gonna use the shovel. Uh, I thought we were gonna have to dig this thing out. In the pictures, it looked a little deeper, but uh, as always, don't forget to be respectful and fill your divot. Tread lightly, my friends. All right, one final thought before we take off and head back home to Iowa. Um, Sometimes you go and you buy a Land Rover at an auction several states away with like seven pictures sitting in a field. And sometimes that doesn't turn out to be exactly what you were hoping for. You lose some, you win some, but remember, it's always the experience that actually counts. So we're in here trying to decide what is a bigger basket case? That or that? 
Let us know what you think down below. All right, so here we are back home. Just shy of 24 hours total, like 21 hours of driving and 1225 miles we got this gem home it is not quite the land rover we wanted but it's the land rover we got <laughs> so i guess uh we're stuck with it now uh kind of the way she goes but we do have some options we were kind of expecting it may be bad not quite this bad but close uh there is some frame options out there and a few other things that we have cooking we could do. Uh, we'll have another video here shortly with some of those laid out and we kind of want your opinion on what way we should go with it. Um, so stay tuned for that one. But yeah, as always, uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up down below. Uh, if you want to see some more Land Rover content, we got a few other ones around. Subscribe to the channel and if you think we're idiots, comment down below. But anyways, I appreciate you guys. But anyways, appreciate you guys watching and have a good night. This thing can fit so many transfer cases in it. Oh wait, maybe not so much.